Hi all, welcome back to Odo 16 Dalaman Tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about add a form view in Odo 16. Odo have different types of basic views like form, list, kanban, cohort, gan, etc. And form view is used to display the data from a single record. For example, uh, let's open a form view inside the restaurant partner that is contact module. Let's open a contact that is Epical Peterson. And this is a form view for the single record of Abigail Peterson and the each fields and then each smart buttons and buttons are arranged right here. Likewise, let's create a form view for our particular model. So let's go to our school management module and this is my school management module. Here I have a, a new menu that is student items. So let's try to define a form view for these student items. So Let's go to PyCharm. So here in my school management module, inside the model school.items.py, I already defined the model school items and then in the corresponding view, defined the action for the school items. Uh, the, and inside the action, I added the view mode, Kanban tree and form. Once we added the form on the view mode, then only we can uh, render the particular form view that we are defining. Normally the form view is defined using the tag uh, form. First of all, we need to create a record for this particular form ID. So I just defining a record. And its model is ir.ui.view. And then field name. And its name is school.items.formView. Then the model. The model is school.items. So inside the field name equal to arc type equal to XML, we can define the form view and form view can be defined using the tag form uh, and inside the form tag it have structural and semantic components and by using that structural components we can define a form view as I typically. So I just defined a form view uh, inside the form tag and here we can add the string name if we need. So just simply giving a string name. So inside this form tag, we need to define all of the components that needed for our, needed for our form view, like uh, sheet, uh, groups, uh, and the fields that we need to define, etc. And let's define sheet, which provides more responsive to the form view. It's directly child to form. And inside the sheet, uh, we can define the particular groups. Groups means which gives the column layouts for our form view. By defining uh, the each groups, we can arrange that each field that we are rendering to this form view. So first of all, I just defining a group and inside the group, we can define the fields that we needed. If we define this group, it becomes two columns. And if we need to arrange our form view to again two columns, we can define another group too. And inside the group, we can uh, add the fields that we needed to render to the particular uh, form view. So let's check what are the fields that inside the school.items. I just defined four fields inside this, five fields inside this uh, school.items. So let's define each of them one by one. So the fields are rendered to this uh, form view using the tag field. And inside the name, we need to define that field name. So I just define the field name as student ID. So simply uh, I just uh, added a form view and then inside a form tag and then added the sheet which gives a responsive and inside the groups added the symbol field student ID.
and then uh, let's run the pie charm go to the ui upgrade the custom module so we just upgrade the custom module score management So module is successfully upgraded, go to school, try to create a new record. So the field that we are defined, student ID and class is uh, rendered at here. And if we need to arrange or rearrange these uh, fields uh, group, we can uh, redefine it in the form view. So I'm just defining another group too. And then moving this field class ID inside to that particular group that I newly defined. Then let's run the pie charm and then upgrade the custom module once again. Then let's see this class field is moved to just right of the student. So the class field is moved to uh, right of the student. Likewise, we can define uh, each buttons, headers, smart buttons inside this form view. So likewise, we can render a simple form view in order 16. That's all about the idea of add a form view in order 16. Thank you for watching the video.